good Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers. It's your boy No Name back at it again with another Giants video. Welcome back, welcome back everybody. Uh we are out here after like huge news. Uh news that will change the New York Giants football organization forever really. Um is the end of an era and the beginning of a new one to say the very least Eli Manning has been uh, well is no longer the starting quarterback for the New York football Giants he's no longer the leader of that football team as they have announced Daniel Jones as the new starting quarterback against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and and I am sure probably for the rest of the season and for the rest of his career should he be what a number six overall quarterback should be now then I did make a quick uh, reaction video for you guys yesterday uh, those of you who did watch it did get to see my ugly mug as I did a face reveal I don't plan on doing much videos like that um, I'm pretty sure I'll only do it like you know in emergency situations such as these and probably in the future down the line where I get a proper camera to you know incorporate them with my regular videos but for those of you wondering if that's a mainstay uh, not right now it isn't I'm very comfortable <laughs> with the way I do it now and I simply don't have the equipment to make uh, actual videos of myself properly but with that being said let's get right into this Eli Manning I will always love this dude he is the football player I grew up watching. You know, I started watching football when I was like, I want to say eight or nine. I I can't remember the exact year, but I want to say I was eight or nine. And that's when I like really started watching football like every Sunday. Like I, I saw it on the TV, you know, every now and then or, um, or streaming every now and then as I would look, but I really started watching when I was like eight or nine, you know. Eli was the guy I watched. He was the reason, I guess you could say, that I started to like football. Because I love what he used to do, you know, just chucking balls downfield, making what, it, what could be called really stupid throws and whatnot. And, uh, you know, sometimes they worked out, sometimes they didn't. That's how, that's what a gunslinger is. That's what the gunslinger mentality is, not whatever uh, the NFL thinks it is these days, which is like, Apparently, as long as you can chuck a ball downfield, you're automatically a gunslinger. No, a gunslinger is the guy that takes all those chances. Sometimes it doesn't work out, and sometimes it does. You know what I mean? Like those, uh, the the two famous throws he's known for, Tyree and uh, Manningham. Tyree more so than Manningham. Uh, Eli has even admitted that it was a stupid throw. He's very lucky it worked out. Manningham was a a good throw but it was still you know within that realm of that gunslinger mentality where it was like if you threw it anywhere else it would have been absolutely terrible picked or went out of bounds but Eli luckily channeled you know his inner Super Bowl MVP and delivered that ball right in the bucket um I'm always gonna look at this guy as the uh as the New York Giants quarterback to say the least until 10 years from now Hopefully, Daniel Jones becomes the New York Giants for football quarterback. But for now, and maybe, you know, maybe forever, Eli will always be my quarterback. He's done so much for the franchise. Um, fans that haven't watched Eli for, I want I don't want to say his entire career, but that haven't watched him when he was good, when he was in his prime, uh, fans of other football teams, you know, all these media experts on ESPN and FS1, and I'm ashamed to say even former football players like, you know, like Shannon Sharp and Chris Carter, like, I, Jesus, these guys really, I don't know how else to say that, I don't want to call them haters, but, man, like, that's how, that's how it is sometimes, that's how it would be, like, how the way they talk, like, you know, Sharp was out here saying that Eli Manning was a very average quarterback outside the two playoff runs. And I'm just like, how can you erase and how can you just simply ignore his two playoff runs that easily? Yeah, he was a uh, he is a career 500 quarterback, you know, 
that being if Sunday was his last game starting ever. He is a career 500 quarterback, but you guys just seem to completely ignore the past five years of his career. You know, leaving out, um, you know, no, even including that 2016 year. That 2016 team was a Giants team that was bad and over overachieved on every end. But the past five, six years of his career, you guys are just ignoring the terrible team he had around him for the last couple years of his prime that he tried to, you know, do something with. Like 2015, in my opinion, 2015 was one of Eli's best years, you know, not only statistically, but just the way he threw the ball. He looked like a man on the mission, but he simply didn't have a defense and the Giants went nowhere. If the Giants had a defense in 2015, I believe they could make a run for it. That's how that's how good Eli was. That's how good that offense was looking, but they had an absolutely terrible defense. And these guys, you know, that I'd always argue he's a career 500 guy, he's an average quarterback. They they think they know football. I want to say, you know what? No, they do know football, but they they're not using their smarts, bro. They're not using as as their kindergarten teacher would say, they're not using their noodles to look at the thing how for what it is. Eli on the first half of his career compared to the second half is completely different. And once again, I'll say, a guy who's top 10 in basically every quarterback, you know, category, every passing stat that matters, a guy who does that is not simply average. So when these guys, when these experts and when these former players, especially Hall of Famers like Chris Carter and Shannon Sharp say, oh my God, he's just average. He's going to make it in because, you know, quarterbacks are so highly valued. I'm just like, wow, you guys are really dumb. Like, I don't know how you are where you are, but no, he's not that. Eli Manning, throughout his career, was the guy that embodied, like, was the embodiment of clutch. He was the guy that could get it done for you. In a two-minute situation, you're down by four, he'll get it done for you. In the playoffs, he'll get it done for you. 2011, people say Joe Flacco 2012 was the best playoff run by a quarterback ever. And yeah, man, that's certainly up for debate, but I'll give it to Eli Manning 2011, where that team was, did not deserve to be in the playoffs, all right? They didn't have an offensive line. It was a terrible offensive line. They didn't have a running game, last in the league in the running game. Their defense was a little beat up and was below average entering the playoffs. They only heated up towards the end of it at the right time. It was like Eli absolutely carried that team throughout the playoffs and did everything humanly and inhumanly possible to take them to the promised land. No average quarterback does that, all right? No average quarterback does that. This guy is a first ballot Hall of Famer because he deserves to be a first ballot Hall of Famer, not because of all this nonsense, oh, his name, you know, the Manning name, the Manning family because of his big brother and whatnot, no. And I guarantee you guys, if Eli's past couple of years, like just these two years alone, just these two years alone, where it's like, I admit he had definitely one of the biggest drop-offs ever, but people are focusing just so much on these two years that they really forget who he is and who he was. You know what I'm saying? If these two years were just a little better, I guarantee you, <laughs> there wouldn't be this, this type of chatter. But who am I? I'm just a guy on YouTube. I'm just a regular Giants fan that comes on YouTube because he got, you know, he got nothing better to do. <laughs> but Eli Manning will always be my quarterback. He will be a first battle Hall of Famer because he deserves to be. He will be remembered as one of the best that ever did it because he is one of the best that ever did it. He'll be remembered by the real ones, the, the ones who observed him for most of his career and throughout his entire career. The ones who have a bit of common sense along with their football knowledge. The ones who appreciate what he did for the New York Giants franchise. The ones who Eli Manning inspired throughout all his life. Will always be remembered as one of the greatest Giants ever, one of the greatest football players ever. Eli, thank you for all that you've done. But it was time to move on. And I just want to get, you know, I wouldn't really call this a tribute video, but you know, just want to get my thoughts out there. He's, I mean, like, let's be realistic. Is Eli gonna hear this video? <laughs> no, but I want to get it out there. Thank you. Thank you so much.
because you did so much for everybody. You did so much for this team. I just can't say enough. Thank you, Eli. You'll always be one of the greats. So this is just my video, guys. Let me know what you guys think, you know, just in general about Eli. You know, reminisce a little bit. Remember the good memories in the comments down below. You know, one thing I want you all to tell me, what is your favorite, absolute favorite moment of Eli Manning? And I'll tell you guys mine. Mine is the um, the divisional round 2011, right before half, that absolute bomb to Hakeem Nix. Which, in my opinion, sealed the game against Green Bay in 2011. I know people like the NFC Championship. Obviously, there's the Super Bowls and whatnot. But for me, is that bomb to Knicks. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'm out for now. Yer. Yeah. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Put your comments down below. Make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe and turn on post notifications. Until next time, I'm out. Yer. Yeah.